Well, Globies, this is not something you see every day. A gypsy caravan made from a Mercedes Sprinter. I'm going to interview the genius who did this, and he's going to tell you just how he did it. His name is Dr. Solar, and we are going to be talking to him right now. So come on, let's go meet Dr. Solar. Oh, Dr. Solar. How you doing, Glo? I'm doing good. I'm doing looking good. at this. I am just... You've got, what's that, copper ceilings? Yes, it's copper pigment. And, oh my goodness. Now let me ask you something. How do you fall asleep in here? There's so much going on. <laughs> I'd be looking around night and day. I don't know if I could even. <laughs> That's what keeps me awake is the thoughts of the next build. Oh my goodness. Now you build these for other people too? I prefer building trailers rather than RVs because the person has to come up with a vehicle. It's not my responsibility of how it runs or how it's going to run afterwards. So, right. Uh, it prolongs the build on an on a vehicle because there's so much involved with tying in with the body and everything else. So a trailer, we knocked out in relatively, you know, good time. It all depends on the amount of uh, gingerbread and rickrack that you want on a true Gypsy Vargo. Your Solar, tell me this, what got you into Gypsy Caravans? Well, I was a tiny house advocate back in 1980 when I went off grid, uh, built a solar home, I'm a solar pioneer, but uh, being a solar advocate and all, uh, for all the years since I saw the first solar cells in 1954 when I was in fourth grade. Wow. And they said, this is the future. And I'd said, I've been waiting for the future ever since. <laughs> it took so long to get to that future. Uh -oh. But anyway, this, I thought it was time to take the solar on the road to show people that it worked beyond flashlights and patio lights. Right. So I could do magic tricks using electricity, like sawing a person in half with a electric saw or levitating a child on a light beam oh my stuff gosh like that, you know? so do you still do your electric magical solar show on the road no, i've had a cancer treatment on my throat and also oh. my voice is not uh, adequate for that and uh, you know the chemo uh, fog kind of uh you know okay makes, so i'm not all that responsible if they have an early morning show <laughs> run the kids show at festivals i i solarize the kids shows at lightning in a bottle music festival and some of the others okay and, uh, run the shows there so uh, and i do it all with the solar on the rooftop here my thing is to show people that they don't need a 20 or thirty thousand dollar solar system the solar on this roof could govern 50 to 60 percent of my household needs so how much solar do you have on your roof i have uh, 850 watts and how and what do you run it on do you have a a lithium or do you have no i have lead acid but they're, okay. they're at their life expectancy so i'm going to be getting lithium batteries yeah. okay so give us do you want to stand up and give us maybe a little tour a short little tour of your well, amazing when, curious when, when i built this vehicle the, the the whole thing was going to be east lake doors which i prefer their 1890s design and east lake hardware which i prefer the uh Arts and Crafts wallpaper is uh, hand silk screened, not by me, but by a company. Oh, wow. And I've always admired that from the 70s on. This looks like something that was in a, you know, back in the day, you know, in the olden days. This, this would be called a showman's caravan. Yes. In the circus days, I say I wanted to make my stuff look like P.T. Barnum would drool over so you have you have your bed here that this, has this, the cushions yeah this is going to be reconfigured this was two benches with a table uh-huh but since i mainly driving or sleeping i don't think i needed a table okay so rather than you know when i stop have to put the table down fix it up for bedding i just leave it this way okay the next thing that's going to happen is i'm going to raise the bed up higher so i have more storage underneath okay and then uh do redo all the electrical okay yeah. so now i see you also have a refrigerator here yes i had a propane refrigerator from the beginning and they're just worthless you know because you have to have it parked just absolutely level oh or the, okay or the freon you know messes up so what kind of refrigerator is so this now this is a end all uh isotherm oh, made okay from italy but they are actually made in china now okay but this uses uh 
one half amp of power. Oh wow! And it's built so well. The walls are thinner than your household one, uh, but I could turn this off at seven o'clock in the evening, and in the morning the butter is still firm. Wow! Okay. Now with a propane refrigerator, they only go thirty degrees below ambient temperature, so when it's one hundred five outside, the butter's melting okay. in here. Okay. So, now I see. What is this? This white now thing this, here. This is a, a heater I just got. Oh. Uh, so it uh, radiates off here. It's like a tile with uh, wiring inside. It is 110 volts, but it only consumes uh, one and a half amps. Now, what's the name of that heater? Do you know? I don't know offhand. No, but they're. But you, you got it on Amazon. Up, yeah, wall heater on Amazon. Okay. Ninety dollars. And you really like that? Yeah. Okay. But, but my batteries are depleted, so once I put my lithium, it'll work quite well. Okay. The... Here you have your bathroom, and you've got the old-timey fixtures here, and yeah. oh my goodness, and the copper still, ceiling. Still using a solar water heater bag, but this is a European-style uh, toilet uh, bath stall. Okay. And it took a, quite a while to find it. I couldn't build out the interior till I got the dimensions of it and built this in then I knew what space I had for closet okay and, and you're using the helio you said the shower bag yeah I'm using the bag for uh because the old uh solar bags that used to be a little smaller you could mm -hmm. stand there and take a shower but uh my old bag broke and so now they're like these huge bags that okay. you couldn't possibly get below it oh i would be remiss if i did not show your beautiful copper sink and countertop that's just stunning and then this mosaic background now did you do that yourself yes yes like i said i i got tired of talking about it for seven years that uh <laughs> finally while i was recuperating from chemo radiation i I knocked it out. That's my first uh, mosaic attempt. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Solers, for sharing. You've got, it's just, it's just. The floor is, you know, I'm speechless for now, but when I finally finish, it'll be have le at least uh, three species in an intricate parquet pattern well, sanded in place. Well, we will have to come back when you get that done and do another tour of your, I'm going to call this the Curious Gypsy caravan this is casa de sol casa de sol well thank you so much dr solar thank you